In this video, I want to try and provide you with a few things you can or cannot do with a winder type stairway or with a stairway with a landing as far as changing or redesigning an existing stairway. So this is for an existing stairway, something that you cannot do. Now, it's not uncommon while remodeling a project to change the stairway, whether the stairway was built in correctly or whether you need to remove a step and place it somewhere else or add a step. So this, this isn't uh, an uncommon uh, thing that happens while you're remodeling a project or a building. So what we're looking at here is a stairway that has four steps, four steps up to a floor, up to a landing. Now, what would you need to do if you needed to remove one of the steps and have this three steps down here? Or if you needed to remove a step above? One of the easiest things you could do would be to add a step to the landing. It would look something like this. And Obviously, I didn't remove any any um, steps here. I'm just kind of doing this to give you an idea of what you can and can't do. So here we have a set of stairs that has a step up in the landing. We are not creating problems here for our clear stair width. Remember, you would need to check with your local building department to find out what the clear stair width would be. But the clear stair width is going to be the measurement from side to side as you're walking up the stairway. So that would be from side to side, side to side, side to side, and side to side. And so this measurement here might be the same as this measurement here in a landing too. You're going to have to, uh, you'd have to check with your local building department to find that out. There are a lot of times they will have a minimum. And if you think about it, this measurement here um, for a landing is usually the the minimum clear width on a set of stairs anyway. So if the minimum clear width is 36 inches, this measurement here is going to be 36 inches even if there isn't a step. So that's that's not uncommon to have the clear stair width um, to be the width of the landing also because as you walk up you turn and you go in this direction and then you come back up. Just keep that in mind. Now here's the reason why I made this particular video. Someone emailed me an example of a set of stairs they were building and they wanted to do something like this. And this goes back to another problem. I'm just going to throw this out there. A lot of times people will tell me that they can do something because they actually seen it somewhere. That's not uncommon. So you're going to have to keep, keep this in mind. Um, and I'm not sending this message directly to the people who sent me the email. I'm sending it out there to everyone. You can't build everything you see. Keep that in mind. It's not always going to meet most, uh, or I should say, there are going to be examples you're going to run across that will not meet local building codes. Keep that in mind. Even if they were built and you're thinking, you know, hey, they, this, they've been using this for years. Uh, this the, the stairway was built in the home for 30 years. It's been there. That doesn't mean it was ever approved by a building inspector. And if it was, it might have might have actually met local building codes at one time, but wouldn't meet current building codes. And my main concern isn't really the building codes, it's the safety. A set of stairs like this um, isn't real safe. It doesn't create a um, a real good and efficient uh, uh, stairway. It's uh, the step right here is too narrow. As you come up here and you step, you would actually be just using this part of the stair. If you think about it, you'd step up onto the landing and then you would use this small section here. You're not going to walk up to the landing, walk all the way over here, and then walk over here. That's not real common. That's why they have a walk line um, they refer to in a stairway. It's the stairway. It's the line that most people use to walk up and up and down a set of stairs. And that line is usually 12 inches from the inside of the stairway. Here's an example of the walk line. The walk line measurement is going to be 12 inches from the inside of the winder type 
design. So this is going to be the farthest point on the clear width. And since this is going to be the inside here, the outside would be the longer. Inside would be the narrower. Narrower part. So we would have 12 inches from the side here, 12 inches from the side here as we change direction. Now the building code requires these lines to connect to each other. So we can't really move them as we as we feel. And this is actually a picture of that. So the narrowest point on this on this set of stairs is going to be right here. This is the narrowest point in each direction. This is not the narrowest point, but I'm not about to suggest that your local building authorities, the people who work for your community in the building department area aren't going to interpret this differently. They could. That's fine. This is just my interpretation. I'd also like to point out that there is the measurement from here to here is only two foot six inches, 30 inches. If your stair width, if the minimum is 36 inches, if this is what you're required for your single family dwelling, then this isn't going to work either. So the, the obstacles I see with this particular design is the 30 inch width, which we wouldn't have for this particular step. And again, I'm not this this is a this is how I would view this incorrectly. We're not coming from here 12 inches. We're coming from here 12 inches. So that would be more like this. Now, I went ahead, I'm going to have to change some of the information on my website. My interpretation has changed. I really dug into this trying to help these people out. The minimum distance that they require is 11 inches and from the walk line point which would be here they want this measurement here to be 11 inches it would have to be 11 inches at the smallest point this is the minimum distance I have it going at a 90 degree angle and this is not what they are suggesting or again this is my interpretation I cannot stress this enough this is just my interpretation I said it about three or four times if you check with your local building authorities and their interpretation is different, I would love to hear from you. If even if you're local, even if you've dealt with this type of problem before, I'd still like to hear from you. So feel free to leave a comment in the comment area. And um, I don't think this is going to work. So I will leave that at that. I won't make this a 20 minute video and it is off to the next problem.